Was whenever I name a group, because we're all in multiple bands, I look in a thesaurus and I typed in like, I don't know, charming, and I typed in fun and all this stuff, and I looked at all the different synonyms, and I was just like, the admirable. I saw the word and I said admirable. I actually didn't say admirable. I saw it and I was like, <laughs> admirables. Because admirables is such a silly word that I've omitted it from my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> I think because we all have you know, pretty diverse musical backgrounds, okay. when we're working on a song, we kind of draw on something that we're hearing for that too. Uh, just that's not that's not a vibe or one, but kind of like more of a modal chord or, or sound. Mm. I mean that that always happens. Like when we're like, oh, what what should we do here? And then someone will be like, oh, you know that so and so jam. We should do something like that. But it's it's a wide range of influence. I don't even really know where to start. No, I wouldn't. I'll tell you this much. When I wrote it, write a tune, it's basically... I don't th I'm don't. i not thinking of music. It's more of a feel. As people kept asking, oh, what, what's your genre? And the band has been uh, evolving a lot in the last two years. And we started out playing like 60s soul covers. That was the Seven first gig years. was for you know Brent's birthdays playing 60s soul covers. And okay. So we moved more and more towards original music, but like I said, depending on who's listening to what at the time, a different type of mood or feeling comes in. <laughs> So when I think of soul, I think of soulful. I'm not really thinking of a... Like a particular genre. I'm not thinking of a genre, I'm thinking of a feeling it invokes. So that's why I say soul is not a genre, it's a feeling. And the main goal is for people to be able to dance. Not the main goal, but for most of the songs, I want people to be able to dance, which is a big part of the soul genre, I guess. <laughs> Okay. You know, I mean, we've we've had some some gigs where that line between audience and performer gets blurred. Chairs, you know, where everyone is in there having that same experience, and that I mean, that if I can do that all the time and somehow get paid, <laughs> that that would be a good life. It's kind of hard to make music without the crowd. If a show's good. It means we connected with the crowd. We, I, I go in there always looking for that. Because you could be feeling yourself, but if nobody else is feeling you, what's the point? why are they going to go <laughs> yeah. see you play yeah. again? A tree falleth in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> right.